All right, so you're planning on coming to Qatar and you want to know what drinks should I drink? Well, here are five popular drinks you gotta try. Assalamu alaikum everyone, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood Qatar here. And today we're gonna be talking about drinks that you have to try while you're here in Qatar. Some of them will quench your thirst. Some of them will be extra sweet. Some of them will warm you up from the inside if your winter thobe isn't warming you up enough. All right, so the first one is obvious. You have to try Arabic coffee, also known as gehwa. In fact, did you know that the word coffee came from gehwa? Now being served gehwa is a sign of hospitality and kindness. So whenever you go anywhere, the first thing somebody will ask you is gehwa. Sometimes people won't even ask you. They'll tell you to gehwa means have a coffee. Have it, have it. Now the gehwa would be served in this, a delle, a coffee pot, and of course, in a coffee cup. John. Now we've done full episodes on how to serve and of course how to reject after you've had your first cup of coffee because you got to finish this. Like if you, if you just get it, get it handed to you and you're like, no, that's rude. And of course we even showed you the correct, you're going to have it poured and served to you. Now there are loads of different gehwa mixes and they can include having coffee beans, saffron, cardamom, cloves, dried sheba leaves, which are also known as black stone flowers. If you're interested in making your own gehwa, we created an episode which you all loved and it got thousands and thousands of views. So please go ahead and check it out. We've also got it in the description and it's how to make Arabic gehwa. The second drink is a drink that you will have hot and it doesn't matter how hot it is outside. I'm talking about Kerak. So you know how a normal milk tea has a lot of water, it obviously has the tea leaves and then a bit of milk? Yeah, we have a lot of bit of milk. This typically is made with a mixture of black tea, cardamom, milk, and sugar. Did I mention it was sweet? You'll also find different places that like to mix in some saffron or even ginger. Now, yes, this is super sweet, but it's also super cheap and you can get it for a couple of reals. Typically, the cups are very tiny as well. It's like having a shot of sugar water, but oh, so much more delicious. Now watch out because this can be super addictive. In fact, a lot of people actually come to Qatar just to have some karak. All right, so number three is this white stuff, leben. This is strained yogurt, which is loved by everyone here in Qatar. Produced from farm fresh milk, leben is a drink that you have to have when it's hot outside. It's best served chilled. It is so common that you can find it in every single mega mart as well as small shop. Yes, you'll find leben and Iran everywhere. Now, I'm not a leben guy myself, but if you've got a mustache, watch out because uh, you're gonna end up with a white one. All right, number four is this, lemon and mint, AKA in Arabic, lemon wunaina. What did you say? Lemon wunaina. Oh, say it again, Dexter. Lemon wunaina. This is an amazing beverage because not only does it taste so fresh, but I love it when it's got crushed ice inside. You won't always have crushed ice, so make sure that you ask for it. Trust me, that's a Q-tip within a Q-tip. In fact, if you fly with Qatar Airways, you can ask them for their signature lemon and mint. Trust me, it's delicious. And remember that there are different varieties of sweetness. I like mine in the middle. Typically, we just say medium sweet. Now, if you wanna get really fancy and it's really hot outside, go ahead, have a lemon and a slushy. So good. Now, when it gets cold outside, you're gonna wanna have a nice warm cup of saffron milk or ginger milk. This is super popular in the winter months and if you're sitting outside in the desert, the dunes, wearing your coat with a fire beside you, you're definitely gonna wanna have a cup of this. Now, we don't believe in Santa in this part of the world, but if we did, we'd probably leave him a nice cup of saffron milk. Just saying. So those are just five drinks that I recommend that you try out when you come here to Qatar. Give a little sip. And guys, if you like this episode, please don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to share. And you see that bell over there? If you turn it upside down, it looks like a cup. Ma'asalama.